to the last set that we have at the Follies here tonight on February 28th. So pleased to welcome back Jeff Michalski and the ensemble that's been working with him. Turn it over to Jeff. Hello. Uh, tonight we're working on something that none of these guys have ever done before. And I really haven't done it in any way other than rehearsal. But uh, I create formats that are based on icons and tonight's icon is going to be a gypsy. So I'm going to change my Zoom uh, background and through the magic of music uh, played by uh, our friend Scott, uh, we will set the stage for our set. Welcome to my tent. I am the great Rama Dama Ding Dong, and I will engage with you in telling the future that I can see that you want to hear about. What is your name? Oh, I should know I'm a psychic. Your name is Michael. Michael. Um, hello, Rama Dama Ding Dong. Hello. You look, uh, you look anxious. I'm scared, Ramadama Ding Dong. I, I am scared for the future. Uh -huh. It looks bleak and dark, and I don't see a way through. I want to know what I must look for to find a path through the next year. Since that this year is year, it's been a shutdown year. There's darkness everywhere. Yes. Let me look in my crystal ball and hope that it becomes crystal and not dark, like what you see for your own future. Yes, yes, Ramadama Ding Dong. But this year has been a year of stopping projects, of shutdown, of illness, and some would even say plague. Yeah. But mm -hmm. let us examine what comes out of these tribulations? Oh. What has changed in the world that actually leads to a light, a light in your life and all of our lives? I see that you have made connections, far away connections, remote connections. Yes. I see also that you have changed your health patterns, your diet, your, 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 your everything, your exercise program to take into account that you are changing, that the world is changing, that we must become better versions of ourselves. And that is what I see for you, the possibilities of walking into the dark and not finding a light until you find it inside of you. Whoa. Look into my ball. Look into my ball. Look into my ball. Oh, I see it's coming clear now. I see, I see a gym walking. So what I hear you telling me is that this life is just sort of like being a blind man in a dark room or a dark hallway at midnight, and we never really know how it's going to end until it ends. 
Use that to label the location, Mickey. I think you need your mic on. I will clear up the audio waves. <laughs> He is silent. And it's like a deaf man. Okay, do you hear Underwater. me now? Do yes, not make too much noise you. in this coal mine. We can cause a cave-in. Look. Large chunk of coal just fell when you spoke. And there's more. They just keep breaking off from the walls. When we talk, we find a dark relationship between you and Mickey. You're going to have to say that again, comrade. I didn't hear you. Important words only. Scared. Scared? This one has your name on. You murder me with coal? You want me to murder you? No. We have been like brother and sister through this whole enterprise. And when we've been hiding out here in this coal mine, from the authorities, I, I thought we'd only grown closer. This one has my name on it. Let me see. So I'm to kill you. <laughs> For an exotic name. Katricia Mean. Katricia Mean. You don't call me that unless you have something sinister in mind, brother. Let us fake our own deaths. Do you Make believe, it a virtue. Do you believe we can fool the fates? And the authorities will spread the word that we are dead. How are we going to, brother? You know, I, I have great faith in you. But how do we spread the word? We're dead. I fear there may be some magic that's required. I, I have a cell phone with some reception. I just will use my fake account. Let us, let us just trust that this will work out. Nagorsta, do you realize how close we came to death just then? Katrina, I mean, perhaps through that little opening up there, we could send some sort of smoke signals. Smoke? Signals of our death. I fear, dear brother, should we try to send smoke signals? We'll be gone.
They seem curious to know what's going on. I like to reduce my uncertainty. You've, the location. You've there. always liked reducing uncertainty. That's why we decided to go ahead and start this accounting firm. Yay. Yes. It's one of the few sibling accounting firms in our state. <laughs> yes, but we're really good at that. And we have helped so many people whose lives have been gone over time. Right, they thought that they were lost and that they were gonna experience a sort of financial death but we have saved them. And in the I, process, we have done well for ourselves too. Well, you saved yourself and you've somehow gone ahead and helped me out over time. And I really well, appreciate how you did that. Yes, it, it was like I needed help. Mm -hmm. And you have always been my emotional rock all our lives. I mean, I may be good with numbers, but you, you are good with people and I never have been. Well, and I needed to do something after my husband died in the coal mine accident. I know, but this, it's weird. They say that all that was found was the cart that was on the track and his hat, but the body was never found. That's as weird. But I feel so much better now. I feel so good. Oh, glad to. You're, you're one of the few people in the world that I actually feel an emotional connection to. And so I am so glad we are together, even though it was caused by your heart your husband's horrible accident in the coal mine. So I am glad I am glad to be with you. I'm glad but you I are with me. I love being here. And it's just so good to be doing things with you. Who would have ever thought when we were kids and all we did is fight all the time. I know. Uh, I I am glad that those days are past. Yes. But as I love you so much, I do have favors to ask you. Of course. I need the whole month of March 15th to April 15th off. Well, a month before taxes are due? Well, oh. can you, well, are you willing to tell me why or do, I mean, I will just accept it on faith if you don't tell me, but it would reduce my uncertainty if you told me. One needs to accept on faith. We have to believe. Then I will believe. It's a plague. It's 
no other way to look at it, Brother Brown. It's a plague. Well, Gajid. The destruction of the world is, is God's work. Brother Brown, why does God be so cruel? Break up and cruel. There, there are times that the mysteries of God can't be answered and must be cruel to be kind. Look around, Tom, you're in a location that's a cruel to be kind location. It's a shame all of Disneyland is closed and there are no characters or attractions. Look at this going to waste. It's a carnival of black magic. It's a cruel, cruel world. Give us it's a, it's a small world, but the cruel version of it's a small world. It's a cruel world. It's a world of torture, a world of pain, a world of disfigurement and abandonment. And we live in it all the same. It's a cruel, cruel world. You have a cruel relationship with him, with Tom, Ruddy. Your relationship with Tom is cruel. Yes, keep eating Perfect. more. Perfect for a despicable loser like you. This cruel world. Yes, Brother Brown, and you are my despicable apprentice. It's my fate in life to be the loser's apprentice. But I'm going to fool the fate. Yes, as I taught you, and you must do it cruelly. However, what is this food you're eating? It's rotten candy. And you don't share it with me, your mentor? Well, I have some for you. Special, special recipe. It has your name on it. It's a rock candy. It's an emotional rock. With your name on it. Rule candy. Brother Igneous? Cruel candy. Isn't that what life is? Life is sweet, but life is cruel. The sweetness brings us to things. The cruelness makes us break our teeth on the hard candy that grandma made. This is life. In the darkest places, people figure out ways to only make it look like they don't eat. Maybe they ghost somebody online. Maybe they get rid of evidence of their connection. And in that time, they recover. They recover and become someone new. 
Maybe they don't want people to know the new them. Like, oh, what the way the old them treated them. Brothers, sisters, we have so many brothers and sisters in our world. It seems, it seems that we all need to expand our boundaries on who we bring into our lives. It is not the relationship of, of the, of the, of the human being, is it not deeper, denser, stronger? There's an accounting to be done. And the accounting is an accounting not just of others, but an accounting of your own actions. It's a, a, a cruel Disneyland, is it? <laughs> Her name is Jacqueline. There's the accountant. Meeting someone she's never met before. See if you can make sense out of my reading in the crystal ball. You look uncertain when you look again. Resume there. Yeah. It's all in order, I'm sure. It is all in order. Break open the word in order. What does it mean? But, but the timeline just doesn't seem to fit how you're doing right now. You seem so much younger. I do yoga. Mm -hmm. I follow the spiritual path. So I seem younger than I am. Trust me, I know my way around an accounting book and I could be a benefit to your firm. Mm -hmm. Blow the coal dust off of his shoulder. I'm looking at that coal dust off your shoulder. Let me just wipe it off for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, can, you can I do something for you? I feel like you've embraced me already and I'm not even hired. I, I do embrace you. I, I embrace your lack of knowledge about this firm, but I embrace your knowledge about the order of numbers and all of the order that goes there. I am so passionate about numbers. I am so passionate about addition and subtraction. And long. And Give us your most passionate times table. Go ahead, say it. And your passion comes out in all that you do. It's almost like one and one is three when I'm near you. One and one can be three. One and one can be four. It's just in our imagination. Whatever we choose to believe. We can fool the rest who don't see, as long as we believe. And as we eat the passion fruit that's on the table, the ones that helped us survive when so many have died. Let me brush some more coal dust off of you. Probably shouldn't say this to you. I, 
I knew your husband. And? He was not a good man. No, he wasn't. But I sense in you that you are. either a Tom or Rudy in my ball. Mother. Yes, sister. That's a disguise, father, here in this rectory. Yes, and you can already tell your reaction is one of disgust and, and discomfort. I love discomfort and I love disgust. I come from the nether regions. Well, I love you. Tom, you take a try at describing what does it mean, the nether regions, in any way that you imagine. The nether regions? You have no idea of the nether regions on the back of my elbows. Your elbows? Yes. Not the elbows, please, please. <laughs> no, you, you see, I love, I love cruelty and I am going to make sure that you get only the view of the back of my elbow. Massage me with that cruelty because my bad nature requires sustenance. Blow the cold dust off her shoulder. <sighs> that is so wonderful. You but are a marvel. Now you are exposed. <laughs> I want to be exposed. Do more I... Dust yourself off so that we see all of you. There's more under here. You wouldn't believe how much more. <laughs> Your nether regions are beginning to show. <laughs> There's so many of them. Minions. Minions. I have minions of nether regions. Do not be afraid. For I bring unto you great tidings of great joy unto you this day. In the nether regions. Christmas Lord. day, right? <laughs> You know you don't believe in Christ. Neither do you. Precisely. We are made. We are cut from the same, shall I say it, cloth. I agree, sister. Martin or Rodi, but together. This is the most despicable tax form I have ever seen. smoke but the smoke will not hide the numbers they shine through 
But I want you to remember in Ruth, in, in his first scene, remind him something of himself. You make order out of disorder. Those numbers with pure certainty. Remember he worked at the dark Disneyland. See what his write-offs are, Marty. You just say you are deducting damaging people and you are also not not counting the income you made from torture it's quite a lucrative business is torture not make a virtue out of being that It's my specialty, this torture. A kindness in my cruelty. I've learned to be cruel is to be kind. Describe one of the rides. That, that is the both motto kind of the... and cruel. A Disneyland. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Space Mountain where you fly through space, never knowing if where you will turn, left, right, up or down, or maybe just continue in a straight path and smash into the wall. It is a ride of fate, Space Mountain, is my specialty. making poison candy and the, the, the stretching rack. I designed that ride myself. Ah, where one in 100,000 people get their heads and bodies yanked and stretched beyond, beyond we suffering. The, we have the guillotine ride. It is very kind. Ah, like the song says, bring back those guillotine days. Ah, uh -huh. it I is sin. Then again, cruelty is a specialty of the IRS, and I admire them for their efficiency in that. I will send them my smoke signal. in the future we embrace the darkness we make it part of our own we don't want to go back others they seem to find the love in others in addition subtraction multiplication they find that it emerges from them is a new life a new order they go to the spiritual, but the dark parts of the spiritual. They make amusement parks, religious spiritual places of torture, a, a, a human purgatory with rides and what seems like fun, but you never can leave those parks because you become addicted. They let darkness. And there's a middle ground. That middle ground is a, is a there is a tenderness to darkness. People go to sleep in the dark. At night, they rest, they rejuvenate. The darkness brings something. Let us see how this resolves itself.
Oh, so could be one, could be two, could be more, could be. Although I physically healthy and I'm physically healthy and alive, I just feel dead inside. That is good. The darkness should be allowed to expand. You have small amounts of darkness. It sh it should be. You should account for the fact that it will increase, not just by multiplication but by exponentiation. I see a Tom entering. All... A Tom is entering. Ah, the, another despicable tax return is I see. Hey, this is our client, be kind. <laughs> but I uh, will be cruel. So it is, it is kind to be cruel and cruel to be kind. Just examine his inner workings, if you dare. Happy to look at his numbers. If that's my job, I'll do it. Yes, his numbers. Numbers, with numbers not lie. only Not only positive, not only negative, but imaginary numbers beyond the real world. Let our clients speak. He's our client, be kind. I want you to take these numbers and I want you to reverse them. Uh, or I have paid my debt to his holiness. I have so worked my time at his dreadful park and I wish to retire. There I can... is no, there is no leaving Tower of Terror. Once you check in, you cannot check out. It is the Park of Terror. I can handle this. I can reverse your numbers for you. This gives me some life. This gives me some reason to go on. You will absorb his energy and his deficit inside yourself. And then it will be reversed. You more, you I like more courage you. than I do. I, you. Your courage is it fulfills me. Probably shouldn't tell you this, but I knew your brother-in-law. He wasn't a good man. Definitely. But I, but I know. No good. Very few people are, which is fortunate for us. Fortunate for us. Ah, fortunate. Thirteen years old when I went to Space Mountain with my brother. We thought we were in a coal mine. We thought we were criminals. We were children. She's saying that they're, they're past lives. I can't hear you. You, Her past lives have manifested in her present, present childhood being. Read Jackie's demeanor. Those past lives are really quite the same. As we look at the fact that one needs to go ahead and look at, it's a cruel world after all. And as the numbers just keep showing and showing it's over time. It's a cruel world. Oh, yeah.
certain form of cruelty to yourself to ponder to ponder the bad that might come to not live in the good you experience and not understand that the candy that takes your teeth the candy that seems so sweet it's not good for you it's only what you dig out of yourself, out of your own coal mine, inside you. You think you are one place, you're really somewhere else. But that's your fortune. And thank you for coming. I'm sorry you had to run out the door. Good night, everyone. I am Rama Damadinda. Marty Cohen. I'm Jackie Randall. Tom Hazelwood. Jim Reedy. Yay. I'm Ruddy Jameson. I'm, I'm Jeff Pachowski and our our, our wonderful uh, tech director for tonight is Scott, and thank you very much for coming. Thank Thanks you. for seeing us out on this final part of the Follies tonight. Next week, we got another full night for you. We'll be back with Ch Jeff Pachowski's ensemble, and thank you, Michael Gelman, for stopping in tonight and giving us the suggestions to help Jeff be our gypsy. And she was Mickey Manting. Oh, yes, Mickey yeah. M I C, but but not M I C K E Y. No. M A N T I N G. Thanks for coming to the Follies, everybody. Mickey Manting. Mickey Manting. Bye.